We've had many dealers ask why doesn't Computer Cut Pro select parts within the part of a pattern. In other words, if you just, in the old program, if you just clicked on this and hit cut, and it brought it into the cut window, the cutout for the, uh, for the mirror would automatically come into the window. What happened was when we migrated all of the patterns over to the new servers, we could not get it to group these patterns together and keep these two pieces together. So there's an easy work around it. You just click outside the pattern that you want to choose and hold your mouse down and drag a box through the parts that you want selected. You don't have to drag a box around the whole pattern, just through the parts of the pattern that you want selected and it will select both of them and then you hit the cut button and it pulls it into the cut window and it defaults to a solid but if you want to default to um, line art all you do is just go to view show fill and now you have the line art so now you have the cutout for the mirror in with the windshield. Now the only difference is that if you want to move this, it's still not grouped. If you move this over, it'll only move the windshield over and not the cutout for the windshield. So what you need to do if you want to move it, you will need to group it. So you just click on the windshield and then, well, let's go back, we'll click on the cutout and then hold your shift key down and that selects the windshield also and then just go over here to the group function and hit group and then you can move this around and it will act as one. Now with any new patterns they will be uploaded and they will act as one because we have the ability to group them together and one way in which you will be able to see that is if you go to the view and then uh, you, a solid view you'll see that it's that it's cut out so in other words in the cut window here if you were to select on this windshield you would see the cutout for the mirror in there